Hey, Loopline here. In this video, I want to go over just a custom test. It won't be a long video, but I get a lot of questions about doing custom tests because Google has different uh, blocks, so they might let uh, something like searching for the word cars pass, but searching for cars.com, uh, like the site operator with cars.com, might be blocked. And so the t tester here in the proxy tester really only tests for really basic keyword search when it's dealing with Google but you may want to build a custom test for like an info operator or a site operator that way you can find out if the proxy is going to pass for the exact query type that you're using and other things too yellow pages plugin uses obviously scrapes yellow pages up here and um, Yellow Pages blocks IPs pretty fast as well. In fact, sometimes faster than Google. So one other thing to keep in mind with Yellow Pages is they do geo IP blocks. So if you're scraping like Yellow Pages Australia, you probably want IPs from Australia if possible because they may block an IP from Europe or USA like right out of the gate. So, but Craigslist blocks IPs, Yellow Pages blocks IPs, and you can use this for anything. This is a theory video, so try to look at the theory here. Um, and not the exact thing that I'm doing. So let's just go to Google and do one, and then we'll do one for Yellow Pages. Let's say I want to search for cars. So I can see that cars.com's come up here, and this probably would pass a basic test, um, but let's say I want to do cars.com here, whereas the site operator may not pass the test. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the um, URL string here, and so I'm just going to grab this. The rest of this doesn't really matter. You can see here the, is the query, and you can test it really easily by putting it in here. Keeping it simple is usually good. Um, this is the Google search, and then this is uh, 100 results per page, and then this is the actual query. Now, by default, Scrapebox uses 100 results per page, and if you use other things, you know that Google can return different results. So if you're going to for 100 results per page versus 10. It can be totally different. Um, now, not always, but uh, it can be. Now, so this is important to do whatever you're going to do. So if you're going to use the standard Google engine that's using 100 results per page, then you probably want this in here. Otherwise, it may not work. It probably will, but it may not. But you need to test whatever it is to make sure that it's working right. Or this isn't going to work. So this is the query string I'm going to use. And I'm going to pop this in scrape box here under Manage. And then configuration, and yes, I know my password is here. These proxies will all be changed by the time this video hits YouTube anyway. So my URL to test against goes here. First, place a, bot, a check here that says use the custom test other than Google. If this is checked, it will put custom test up here rather than Google. So pretty easy. Then I'm going to do my URL string here, and I'm just going to put this in. Uh, just what I copied here and then I need to get some text to copy so I'm going to do new and used cars for sale if this comes up then I know that it has Scrapebox will load this page and if it finds this text then it knows the proxy passed if it tries to load this page and it winds up with like a 302 where Google says no your IP is blocked here solve a captcha then it's obviously not going to find this text therefore the proxy will fail so all the proxy test does is it loads the page and looks for a string and if it finds it then the proxy passes because remember Scrapebox is seen by Google and the other things as a web browser anyway so we're gonna put that in there and I'm gonna close out of it and let's just run a test here and what it's doing right now is it is gonna do an anonymous test and check for to see if my IP is hidden in general, then it's going to do a Google test and load this page right here and look for this string. And you can see they're all passed because these IPs I'm not using um, with Google. Let's see this one, 302 found, that one's blocked. And so therefore we have, now we can go to filter here once it's done and it's done, filter, and we can keep proxies which passed the Google anonymous test and 49 of them did. So, or rather, sorry, I said that wrong. Keep proxies with pass to Google or custom test. And this, in this case, it's custom. It's the same thing. If you uncheck custom, up here it'll say Google, and this filter does the same thing. So now we have that. Now let's do one for yellow pages. So let's go to yellowpages.com. And this would be the same thing for yell.com or yellow pages Australia, that sort of thing. So let's say I want to find cars. Again, let's just do that. And let's say Detroit, Michigan. Lots of cars in Detroit, Michigan with Ford and all that sort of stuff. So here we go. I'm going to grab my search string here, or my URL rather, and copy that. And go back here to Scrapebox and go to Configuration and just paste that right in here. So I'm going to load that. And then 
I also am then going to grab some text. Now it's probably worth noting here that Scrapebox doesn't use JavaScript, so you probably want to turn JavaScript off on some pages because that may change the results that you get. So in Yellow Pages case, I don't believe it will, but we can. I have a quick little plug in here to turn JavaScript off and Flash off, and then we can refresh the page just to make sure um, and make sure that we're getting the same results. But Scrapebox will see it with JavaScript off, so you can turn off JavaScript in Firefox or Google or Internet Explorer or Edge or whatever you're using. Just Google how to do that if you don't know how to do that, and then do this. So anyways, I have my URL string, which is the same, and um, you want to be careful of ads, like in this case it's an ad, so that may not show up uh, for Scrapebox, for instance, if they change out the ads on every search. So I want to get one that's not an ad in the case of Yellow Pages. So I'm going to do Michigan Auto Repair Center. Obviously, if Yellow Pages gives me a block, I'm not going to see that text. I'll see something else. So and notice I caught a uh, space here in a period. I'm going to get rid of that just because if the formatting comes up differently, then it may not work. and it's probably fine but I just want to keep it simple so Michigan Auto Repair Center now we're gonna close out of that and I'm gonna go ahead and test again test all my proxies and let's see if these pass the custom test so first I have it sorting through anonymous and then it goes back and gets the custom now you can see um, I don't use these proxies with yellow pages either but you can see that some of these have a 302 where yellow pages is redirecting and then some of them it's passing just fine most of them it's passing just fine so this is a great way to find out if you're trying to use the yellow pages plugin up here and it's not working so the yellow pages scraper will run along and then it'll stop harvesting whenever it runs out of proxies and when they're all blocked so if it's running along and then it's just stopping on you all of a sudden it's because it's running out of proxies so then you can toss your proxies you know the proxies that you put here you just toss them in here and run your custom test and it's that easy and now you have a test to find out if your proxies pass yellow pages so if you wanted to try to scrape um, public proxies or if you have private proxies or whatever I haven't had great success with public proxies with yellow pages but you get the point you can build a custom test if you're doing Craigslist you go to Craigslist search for something find a URL copy the URL up here put it in remember do it with JavaScript off because um, I know Craigslist can change its formatting sometimes with uh, JavaScript off. So JavaScript off, copy your custom URL, put it in the custom test, find a string on the page, which is just some text, and put that in there, and then test your proxies against Craigslist. Now, one thing you do want to bear in mind is that this is loading the page. So when I run the test, it's loading this yellow pages page. If I run the test 50 times in a row, I'm going to get the IPs blocked just from testing them because it's going to keep loading these pages over and over again. So do it once or twice or whatever as you're experimenting um, and get the idea, but don't just test these over and over and over and over and over again or test them like every 60 seconds on like an auto loop with the, you know, um, automator which you could do I have another video on how to um, scrape proxies and have them tested um, but you could test them but it wouldn't you know probably isn't much point unless you're doing something with Google and auto loading the proxies back in but bear in mind when you test these it does load the page so that's how you can build a custom test and find out if your proxies are blocked for specific Google operators or other search engines or places like Craigslist or yellow pages or you name it if the website is blocking your IP this will tell you and that is how a custom test works. Thanks for watching this Scrapebox video. For more Scrapebox videos, click the subscribe button on your screen or click the subscribe button down below.